let's do this. We live in a special place. We all know it. One reason why the Gallatin Valley is so special is because of the vast nonprofit sector. Nonprofits strengthen the fabric of our communities through their tireless work to conserve open spaces, create a thriving arts community, provide basic needs support, and on and on. But our community is changing. And a few years ago, a year ago, Future West and the Bozeman Area Community Foundation, alongside a steering committee, convened nonprofits about how state and federal budget cuts compounded by community growth was affecting their work. Brilliant ideas were being sparked, and it became clear that these conversations needed to occur all over the community. So we partnered with local nonprofits to host countywide conversations in one day to engage people from all over Gallatin County who don't normally show up for commission meetings. We also knew that local governments were working on some planning projects and that this feedback from these conversations could be useful to them. So on October 25th, community members gathered around tables throughout the county and had a conversation about three questions. What do you love most about this community? What is a challenge that your community is facing right now? And what's one idea that you have to make your community better? There were over 900 participants located at over 100 tables. We had conversations from West Yellowstone to Big Sky, Three Forks to Bozeman. Conversations were held at the Belgrade Senior Center, the Detention Center, the Fork and Spoon, at local nonprofits, at the hospital in Big Sky, in faith communities, and in homes across the county. You can see our demographics of participants here. So what do community members love most about this area? Can you guess the top three? Probably no surprise that our community ranked the following. Physical beauty, friendliness, recreation, safety, open space, a healthy community, educational opportunities, social opportunities, and economic opportunities. And here are a few quotes from participants. We love the fact that homegrown talent participates in cultural events and that people are interested in their neighbor's stories, like through PK. Ag land is a huge piece of our identity and place, connection to local food, economy, and landscape. The outdoors, the environment, the mountains. Regardless of the location of participants, we heard a lot of common themes about what people value and care about in their communities and about what they were most concerned about. This word cloud shows the most common words in participant responses. The larger the word, the more often they were used. As you can see, at the heart of these conversations was community. Far and above, affordability was identified as the top concern. Nearly 75% of our participants identified affordable housing as a pressing challenge. 30% identified good paying jobs and economic security. Half of them feel that our community does not provide opportunities for everyone. One of our participants said, housing is huge. We moved three times in five months and still live in a two bedroom, one bath with four children, two adults for $1,000 a month. And we couldn't even consider living in a larger place with two adult members working multiple jobs. 12 to $14 an hour is not a living wage. People talked about how growth affects our feeling of community connection. Quote, in an age of social media and the internet, we need more ways to come together and define and interact with one another and keep our sense of community and its friendly small town feel. Face-to-face -face bonding keeps us more tolerant of others in our community. Participants were vocal about the need to more effectively connect all parts of our community through multiple modes of transportation, better traffic management and parking. Improving options and frequency of public transportation both within downtown but also to neighboring communities and Livingston. Many participants commented on the need for more partnerships to tackle some of our community's really tough problems. Concerns about local government planning and coordination ranked third among identified challenges. Quote, it is not helpful for the city and county not to get along. They should work together to make the best decisions for our region. A common topic of conversation was the need to expand existing services, including mental health, recycling, and support for people with disabilities. Quote, 80% of people in jail have mental health and or addiction issues, and this is an expensive place to serve them. We need community programs targeting these issues. Although many challenges were identified, people shared a strong sense of passion for this place and hope for their future. 
82% said the place where they live has a strong sense of community, and 81% believe that they have the ability to make an impact and make their, play, their community a better place. We heard lots of ideas on just how to do that. Neighborhood child care centers that double for local citizen meeting rooms provide incentives for more mental health providers to come to Bozeman. 20 minute neighborhoods where people can live, work, and shop within a 20 minute walk. A bold vision from the city and county to reduce the environmental impacts of growth. Police on foot to engage with the community more. Slowing housing sprawl with taller buildings if necessary. More classes and events for youth who aren't involved in sports. And a long-term vision that includes agriculture, biking routes, water conservation, and solar-ready houses. So how do we capitalize on all this information? We are excited that Bozeman, Belgrade, and the county supported this initiative financially. And they're going to be using the data to inform their planning efforts. And other nonprofits are planning to continue the conversation to move some of these ideas into action. This information, though, belongs to the community. So individuals, businesses, neighborhoods, and nonprofits will be able to download our final summary reports and the raw data in March to inform their programs and activities. And our team will be making slightly longer presentations to local government boards and community groups. At the heart of this initiative was a face-to-face -face conversation. 86% said they'd do it again. A female inmate at the detention center became emotional, saying, I can't believe that anyone would care to hear from me. And another participant shared, we need to remember that we're not islands that stand alone. It's when we come together that we all thrive.